<laughs> you know the rules. You are not so big now. Are we, Your Majesty? You. Oh fuck. She knew the rules, Arthur. What the hell is wrong with you? Mr. Pearson, Mr. Williamson, get this body out of here and get it burnt. Okay. Now get back to work, all of you. Quit your lollygagging. Get back to work. Sixth chapter. So, we found out who told the uh, Pinkertons. I didn't know it was going to be O'Shea. Fuck. Argument, I should probably stay out of it. <laughs> that does not sound pleasant. Alright, let's make him look a little bit more decent. Let's trim it up a bit. Okay, Strauss. Okay? They shot Molly. And look at this place. It'll be okay. And even Strauss is paranoid. Morning, Arthur. How are you? I get some food and then I'll talk to some people. Get some coffee. There we go. All right, all of cores have been replenished. Let's talk to the camp people and see how we're doing. Uh, everyone is morale-wise. <laughs> They're probably not doing good at all. Especially her. She just, she had to shoot her. How are you feeling about Molly? I'm feeling she got exactly what she deserved. That's what I figured. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Well, I suppose. She's doing it with her own way. Hi. How you doing? Poor Molly. I don't believe it. Uh, she knew the rules. Morning. Only way to start the day. She drunk. How are you holding up? I am fantastic. Yeah, she drunk. You okay, Reverend? Yes. I will say a prayer for Miss O'Shea. Say a prayer for all of us. You okay? What is happening to us? Just 
Make this place work, Pearson. For now. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Okay, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> we need some more food. Yeah, it's been a while since I talked to Bill. Morning. So, here we are. Can't believe that bitch Molly ratted us out. Yeah, if she even did. Hmm. Oh, she's taking it, Tilly. You okay, Tilly? Molly got what she deserved. Nearly got us all killed. <sighs> yep. She knew the rules. You okay? I guess. I didn't really know Molly so well. Thanks for your help. Well, securing this lovely spot. All right, well, I should be getting on. Yeah. How Micah feels about it. You gonna get up? Oh, he's sleeping. Sorry. <laughs> it's too tempting. <laughs> He doesn't even have anything to say. He's just like, I am too tired for this shit. <sighs> Looks like we have a... Oh. Strauss has some more things for us to do. Let's go to Strauss. Mr. Morgan. <laughs> hey, Strauss. How are you? About... About how I look. Okay. <sighs> are you, um... Are you perhaps available for some work? Debtors? Yes. I guess. Your commitment to your duties is admirable. <clears throat> you know, Mr. Morgan, you are... Well, I'm sorry for you. Huh? No, never mind. I didn't... Look, Strauss. You take care. I ain't dead yet. No, of course not. That's what I was saying. I, uh, I... A debtor, Strauss. Who owes you money? Well, uh, there's a deserter from Fort Wallace. Head to him first. They're looking for him out on the road near Three Sisters. Man's name is J. John Weathers. J. John Weathers. Then there's a miner over in Annisburg. He's called... Well, he's called Arthur. <laughs> like you. Huh. <laughs> Arthur Londonderry. Family man, desperate, you know the type. Couldn't one of the boys do this? I tried. They lacked your... vigor. Vigor, huh? huh. All right. Uh, take care, uh, uh, Mr. Morgan. <sighs> so we got those. Guess I can go into town and do this. Do some of these stranger missions. Looks like Sadie has uh, some more missions for me. Get back to what we were doing after all that crazy ass drama. <laughs> Gotta take this trail a couple times, that's gonna be fun. Alright. 
So I know a couple of you guys are pretty excited for Red Dead Redemption 2 to wrap up on the channel. That way we can focus more on uh, games like Yakuza and everything. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I know we probably still have a couple more hours of this game left and we're also going to be checking out the online. We're not going to do a playthrough of online since I don't think there's going to be super story heavy or anything like that. So we'll try it out. We'll do events tries for that and we enjoy the online in, in this game. There's a lot of cooperative stuff and a lot of fun things to do f with uh, friends of the channel and stuff like that. We uh, give it a shot. I know we don't play a lot of multiplayer games on this channel, so it wouldn't hurt. the gun down the sheriff Marshall pick a fight with him see if we can duel him I have still yet to find a lot of opportunities of dueling in this game some people will try and pick a fight with you and some people won't Maybe it's because I just move around pretty damn fast you. I'm looking for Slim Grant State Marshal Heard you boys know where to find him. Oh, Mr. Marshall was here last week. I think he headed up to Beaver Hollow looking for some outlaws. Is he coming back? Sure, when he catches them fellers he's been after. Well, how long's he been gone? Well, a couple of days. Well, you ain't gonna go look for him? If your boss's boss, who you all hated, went missing, possibly dead, at the hands of a bunch of violent wanted men, would you go looking for him? <laughs> well, yeah, probably, because I'm a fool. Well, when he's dead, maybe I'll become Marshal. I'll be a hero riding a horse from town to town, mister. Think of that. Good luck with those dreams. <laughs> So we're going to find a marshal. Let's see, they don't really have a pathing system right here. They can most likely use right here. I'm guessing we're probably going to kill the guy in the woods. <laughs> Unless he has his own little posse.
Oh. You must be Slim Grant. State Marshal. Slim Grant. <sighs> okay. Let's get you out of here. Yes. Indeed, son. Uh, uh. Are you gonna bring him back to you? Uh... I need a favor, Mr. Grant. It's nothing big. I'll explain on the way. You. Ah! Let's see. Where are we bringing him? Ah, bringing him up here. Drop off point. <laughs> okay. Back to what I was talking about. Might as well relax. This is real peculiar. I'm State Marshal, you know. Yeah, I know. Just sit tight. All will be revealed. Now you gonna tell me what the hell is going on here? I was. Before you got so short with me. Son, what the hell are you up to? I'm taking you to see an old friend of yours. It's a reunion of sorts. <laughs> Will you stop being so damn cryptic? I'm telling you all I can. It's a job. Someone wants to see you. I'm taking you to them. What if I don't want to see them? Well, that's a good argument for keeping that rope around your wrists. <laughs> I'm a state marshal, and this is an abduction. Horseshit, I'm saving you. This is just a little detour on the way to liberty. This is it, down here. Almost over, Marshal Grant. State Marshal Grant. Yeah, yeah. So you got him. I think so. Did you kill his cousin back in 82? <laughs> Whose cousin? My cousin. I never shot no one didn't deserve it. Uh, you shot Jed Calloway. And I told you then I'd shoot you too. And I would have if you'd shown up. I was there. No, you weren't. You left town. You take that back. But I don't care now. It's nigh on 20 years ago. We're old men. We're lucky. Fight me. You're an old man. Come on, fight me. It's a bit late, isn't it? God damn you! Fuck. Well, that settles that then. Shut I shot him in the goddamn back. When these things happen. God damn you, goddamn both of you! Well, now calm down. Who cares? You should have shot him 20 years ago. He's dead now. You are a sickness scum like you and you, Fredo. Oh. Come on, draw. Why? I said draw, goddammit! No. Yes! Oh, yeah, it's gone. Yet indeed. Still, at least now you got mm. a, an end into your book. He's dead. Oh, uh, don't you start now. Uh, no, I'm not starting. I'm, I'm happy. <laughs> I'm free. I can finally go back to writing westerns instead of being in one. Yeah, he was pretty wild. And I know some wild people. He was certainly complicated. I'm sorry I shot him. No. And you didn't shoot him. He did. In the back. After he mortally wounded Slim Grant. Fair and square. Yeah, that's it. Last of the gunslingers. Well, more or less, I guess. There's more? Oh, there's always folk who shoot you in the back and, and rewrite history. 
Oh, hey! Where do I send the money? Send it to Tacitus Kilgore. No, that ain't my real name. Yeah, nice little waterfall. <laughs> hmm. All right. I'll see you when you get back. Love you too. Oh, do you have a super rare gun? Ah, he has his own revolver. Gold plate buckle. Didn't mean to do that. Got his, uh, revolver. Make sure I got the other guy's revolvers too. Okay, and okay. Damn, his revolver actually does some damage compared to the others. Might have to use his. Check his check his gun out. Nice weapon, man. That's a good good looking revolver. Nice. It's the best revolver I have so far. All from a nice little side mission. I have yet to use the uh, fire bottles. Okay. Alright. Get back to work. Oh well, yeah. Finally be able to do this since it's still daytime. Well, hopefully I can still get back there before then. Ah, get to figure out what the stranger mission is. Here's some wolves. That's some wolves right there. Okay. Hello there. Excuse me. Boy. Yeah. There, boy. Yeah. Right there, boy. How you doing, Horse is a little boy? spooked. It's a, it's a, oh, this is a different one. Widow. This was supposed to be our little adventure. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now. If, if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well...
We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He, he wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Teach this girl how to hunt so she can stay alive. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. Oh, a bear. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I, I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now, I, I don't know. It's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, uh... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I don't even have a knife with me. Don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Here we go. Look, a rabbit. Okay, stay quiet. Still watch me. Oh no, it's hopping away. Oh. oh. Got it. Oh. Good shot. Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Oh my! Perfect. To it, you did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. <laughs> Do you mind if we head back now? Sure, I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes, at least. Thank you so much. 
I mean, it really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but you can survive here all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Oh, that was so close. Oh, God. <laughs> you see, if, if if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead now. An agony you wolf. A rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Early, might as well get Since some. Since we got here, it feels like wolf. every step forward. I'll come back for the wolves. Come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh, nope. I guess we only know what we know. Surviving is oh, not please. a simple task. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds off. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. So this is where she's staying. What a bad plot of land. Not a bad plot of land at all. Really good. Plenty of hunting ground. Oh. Hmm. Oh, uh, you'll definitely be able to survive, especially if you have a roof over your head. You already got one, one out of the three things necess necessary to survive. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us, for me, since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. Cool. So I like little story missions like that. Oh well, yeah, that bear's still out there. Wonder if we'll have to help her with the bear. See if those wolf wolf carcasses are still there. Huh. Oh yeah, this is where his grave is. That wolf carcasses are still up here. If anything, I'm going to try and get the meat for it. <laughs> and sell the pelts. Oh, it's a perfect wolf pelt. What? Oh yeah, I used the right weapon for it. Yeah, forgot I used the right weapon for these wolves, so I get the perfect pelts. <laughs> That's why I like my bolt action rifle, man. That you can use that weapon for a lot of animals. At least if they're medium sized. Sweet. I got meat and I got a good pelts.
We should probably give her some of the wolf meat. Alright. Hmm. Let's see how we're doing on our cores. Like we need candy is for energy. I feel like we need some candy. And dead eye. Alright. Biscuit. And something for our dead eye. Drop those cigs. The other cigs that we picked up, no. Some of the liquor. Yeah. And looks like the liquor is not <laughs> not very good for his tuberculosis. Does not sit well. Alright. Oh, this is the one I wanted to check out. But I don't know if we're gonna make it in time. Yep. I know if we can. I don't know if we are. water it's raining again too I have a feeling he's not gonna be out there with the rain the last time we tried to check on this guy it was nighttime and it was raining and it's the same scenario whoa 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 whoa, whoa. go 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 horse Horse. <sighs> Damn it, horse. Oh, that's so cool that the eyes glow yellow at night. It's not a perfect pelt, but it'll do. Damn my horse <laughs> reared me off. <laughs> Actually, I need to give this meat to the camp. Because the camp is low on food, might as well do it. See if we can get to our destination first. Looks like he's occupying it. He hasn't lost any. Lost the touch. Oh yeah, this is a scientist, isn't it? No. He's a madman! Anybody here? It's in the bed. Hello? If you are here to rob me, I wish to make clear that I have weapons that could liquefy each of your internal organs in turn and leave you just a puddle on the floor. Professor, I ain't here to rob you. It's me. I, um... I helped you at the pond. You did? <laughs> oh, you did! <laughs> it's the buffoon! <laughs> Hello! He's not looking too good. I hope I'm not disturbing you. Of course you are disturbing me, buddy. I almost saw the biggest problem, and you mess it up! Did? No, but I did. I can't get the bloody conductor straight. Uh, well, well, it, it, it is uh, the geometry of life. The, the grand theory of uh, power. Doing a Frankenstein the experiment. Theory of theories, uh, there is just one more big problem. <laughs> Maybe 
I solve it, but I can't get it right. I don't understand. Of course you don't. Help me adjust these things, and I will show you what I need. Here, take these. Oh, well, uh, I'm not much of a scientist. Well, well you are an American. <laughs> Science is far beyond you, but <laughs> you make a, a fine buffoon. Go. Wait, you didn't even tell me where to put it. You have the detector in your hand. The filament flashes when it points at the location for conductors. Follow flashes up in hills and plant conductor rods where filaments go solid. This is so weird. Is a conductor and there's a lot of wolves out here Oh god, did he get struck by lightning? Turn to the lab. <sighs> oh, yeah, it's kind of dangerous running around a thunder, you know, in a thunderstorm with a bunch of conductor rods. <laughs> a little nervous with that. And I still have a conduction finder <laughs> in my pocket. Day. Wonderful. <laughs> Let's see what's gonna happen. I wish I ever went to school so I had a clue what was going on. What well, now? Well, now I become the second creature after God Himself to bring life to this earth. Like this. Hmm. Am I missing something? Ah, oh, uh, the switches, the bloody switches. Okay. Uh, climb. Up climb. And adjust them for me. Oh Jesus! Go quick, please. <sighs> this isn't gonna be safe at all. Why in a thunderstorm? I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get shocked. I'm gonna get electrocuted. <laughs> I'm going to die. <laughs> the switches are on a circuit. 
Ah, here we go. God, he's standing on wood. It's working. It's working. <laughs> Come down here, quick. Trying to get off this ladder as fast as I can. There we go. Get off this platform and get inside. Are you ready? Sure. Second time lucky, eh? Second time? <laughs> More like 7,000. This is my life's work. It is incredible. Oh, a robot. What? <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> it's actually working. Hopefully it doesn't kill him. It is life itself. Morons who doubted me. It is me and you. <laughs> Isn't he wonderful? He's a little clumsy. Is that it? For now. I am so happy. <laughs> Saw creation's second birth. <laughs> I just saw a machine waddle a few steps. I have a son. <laughs> I am the luckiest man alive. <laughs> I, those morons! They doubted me. I'll see you later. Yes. Yes. Goodbye. <laughs> oh. <laughs> well, that's a thing. <sighs> Let's get out of this storm. Probably, um... Set up camp somewhere. Let's see if we can set up camp up here. Need to craft some things anyway. Sleep the storm away. I guess we could do it till noon. Storms died down. Let's see if there's any items to craft. Buy some split points at least. Alright. Coffee brewing. Alright. Got some parcel I need to open up. Alright. Uh. Not doing too well. Alright. Is there any other? I can only do the split points.
rifle. Ah, oh, it's a rifle truck. Prepared for war. And we can make some of these. I don't think I have any ointments. Just for the big guy. And let's do a stimulant. That's it. For one more bit of coffee and we're done. well for him <laughs> my minimum weight like I need to eat more <laughs> yeah check out my stats and see how uh, oh he is on his uh, weight Arthur what you looking like ah uh, my core drain that's probably because of the tuberculosis. So. Damn. You know what? This kind of makes me wonder. I'm kind of wondering if you can catch diseases and all that in multiplayer. You know, I'll have like negative effects and everything. Hmm. Core drain is at 20% death though. Temperature is fair. Or condition drain, weight. Oh, I'm underweight, so I need to get some food in me. Depression. Oh, I'm full health? Did I eat? <sighs> I guess that core drain is all. Because of tuberculosis and a little bit of underweight. That's why my cores are going. Time to eat some food. Not the journal. Not the journal. Let's see. And. Like, you can hardly eat things. Uh, 
Still underweight? Looks like it. I wonder how much you have to eat. I wonder if he'll stay underweight because he has tuberculosis now. Or if he just keeps losing weight and he starts to deteriorate over time. Okay, one more, dude. Get back to camp and uh get those Sadie over there. I guess before we go back to camp. Well let's try to get the camp since that's kinda harder to get. And it's like it's painful for Arthur to eat. And <laughs> there's that cougar. Donate to the camp. Then do some more side missions. Actually, we'll probably, we probably should focus on the main story for a little bit longer. Stuff like that. Try and do all that stuff. Hey, sniper. Yeah, I have a feeling that Arthur might not survive the story. Since he pretty much has an uncurable disease at this point. I think he is. Somehow is able to survive through tuberculosis, which not a lot of people do in, during that time. There were survivors of tuberculosis, but not very rare. So, either he's going to get shot in the story, or... What hell's that guy doing? Oh. Uh, Go, 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 go! Horse! Go, 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 go! Shit. That messes with your, uh... bird just hit my head. Alright. Um, let's go to it. Donate to the camp for some food. Considering the red. I'm down to the 